Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Valorant Consoles patch 9.0 and how monumental it is. This basically just changes everything, especially when it comes to the ranked meta within Valorant Console. So let's get right into the patch. And I have good news, everybody. Just by, based on the images, ISO is finally getting nerfed. The nerf is finally coming to console. Thank God. Like, I don't want to swear too much for all the children who are watching, but like, thank God. I've been praising. I've been praying for this day. So let's get right into the notes. The Howdy Gamers, Joe Ellen here. There's a lot of console updates in this patch, including some neon raids and ISO changes. Uh, Lotus is also entering the console scene. Thank God. I absolutely love Lotus. It's actually one of my favorite maps from PC, and it's very underrated. And especially with a split with this current uh, act, we got both Haven, where I have actually come to actually really appreciate Haven, especially because of how much I disdain for Icebox and how much I just straight up love Lotus. Just the way it works and three bomb sites. Honestly, not going to lie. At first, it's going to be a little tedious because you don't know how it's going to be playing and stuff. But after a while, once you get to the patterns and stuff, Lotus becomes one of the best maps not only because of the metas that are currently going on right now, Lotus definitely brings a lot more diversity when it comes to character selection. The so weapon updates updated the animation for the outlaw and its uh, skin lines so that it's more apparent when the weapon is ready to be fired. OK, I know they're introducing a new skin when it comes to let me let me just find it actually quickly. They're bringing a new skin for the outlaw. So and it's the R an RGX one. So it's kind of nice, not going to lie with also a new Karambit, which kinda is kinda fire. I'm not gonna lie. But you can really tell the difference, especially with the animations. And you got the classic RGX animation for the finisher. Uh, bug fixes. Fix a bug where Neon could be uh, could equip faster out of her side than intended by manually inputting an equip action. Okay. Gameplay systems fix a bug where AFK players were able to start the vote for surrender. Fix an issue when exciting, uh, exiting Cypher spy cam can cause a brief stutter for spectators. Fix an issue where technical callouts displays in chat regardless of the option being turned off in settings. Fix an issue with bullet tracers appearing for guns picked up regardless if their settings is turned off or not. Fix an issue regarding Sage and Clove. Uh, resurrection is not being able, being visible for spectators and observers. Okay, so that's more of, okay. Fix a performance uh, degradation issue caused by auto respawn by spike explosion in custom game modes. Okay, nothing that I see like really changes for gameplay, more like, or how do I say this? More for spectators and observers, but honestly, all this stuff, good changes. Always got to fix the bugs in your games. Fix your game, Riot. Uh, maps. So when it comes to Abyss, everybody knows, especially if you play Cypher a lot like me, there's this freaking cam, I believe, on the B bomb site where you just literally put it at any point of the wall. It'll go like the whole cam will go into black and white, and it's just so tedious. So cleaned up a lot of spy cam spots, uh, prevent visual issues and undetended placements or undetended placements. Um, okay. Improved wingman a spike plant pathing on a site. Cleaned up ability and player collision in a variety of spots across the map. Fix an issue where the minimap could be orientated upside down in certain settings uh, active. Fix a visual bug seen when falling off the map on a site. Fix a bug where Viper's pit could spread farther than attendant on a site. Known issues social. When changes happen to your party, there's a chance that you'll see missing string uh, entry table in your chat log. I haven't had that issue. I don't know that issue, but definitely. There's some PC stuff when it comes to esports where you can do pickums for the new Valorant Championships starting July 26th. And it looks like there's going to be some prizes and stuff. So definitely go check that out. Bug fixes. Gameplay systems fix an issue involving the pinwheel getting stuck on the interface when bound to Z key. Okay. Premiere. Uh, I'm not really going to cover Premiere. That's more of a PC thing at the current moment. But it's just more of an update on the point system. So console. This is where the big boys come. This is where the big buffs are coming. So general updates. 
It is now possible to freely rebind non-ultimate abilities uh, mapping. So I wonder... Okay, so I have a problem where I actually want to play Raze a lot more. The problem with Raze is, depending on my keybind, and especially because I play on Tactician and not the Valorant uh, preset, um, I can't really rebind my factuals to like R2 or L2 where I actually kind of want to. So this is a huge, I think if I'm reading the cr this correctly, I'm going to show it after the update. As soon as it's um, installed into my PS5, I will definitely show this out. But I'm super excited if this is what I think it is. I'm super excited. It also added a setting for inverting map sensor control. Well, OK, whatever about that. People who do inverts are freaking crazy. OK, so for the big news, the agent updates neon slide reequip speed change from fast to instant raise second uh, blast pack. Uh, horizontal force has been reduced and iso thank god the double tap duration goes from 20 seconds to 12 seconds while removing the signature kill reset thank god map updates lotus has been entered into competitive unrated swift blah 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 okay social updates updated the notification indicator on the social card that's easier to tell when your party invite even when the social panel is closed added voice indicators to party tab um, add button to leave party to my party selection of the social panel. Bug fixes. Additional preset weapon switching fixes. Okay. Agent recon bolt. Fix an issue where the recon bolt did not properly apply aim assist to reveal target. Fade haunt. Fix an issue. Apply the aim assist to reveal targets. Fix an issue where aim assist was in correctly being applied when certain building. Okay. And that also applies to here as well. So I want I want to see how all this plays out, but I think this is more of a, like a aim assist correction. So that's interesting. I'm kind of curious. So that's definitely something to look forward to. Uh, gameplay uh, systems fix an issue where you could be in focus mode while inspecting your weapon. That's hilarious. That'd be interesting. Competitive systems fix an issue where EO. Uh, EOG screens were reviewing matches and match history will disappear and is inaccessible. Okay, social fix a bug where your presence sometimes failed to update after a match. So we're in the firing range right now and let's see the neon changes. So it's um, definitely involves the slide. Oh, oh, that. Oh, that's huge. It's not as it's definitely a lot better. Oh my goodness. No, it's a slide. Okay, the, the slide is definitely a lot better. Next we have ISO. And you can see right in the corner. You have the R2 for me. Bam. And it's a lot quicker. Now it's 12 seconds. Now you really have to force ISO into guns fights now. And it's not as long as before. There's a huge welcome dub. And as soon as this runs out, that's it. Game over. Done. The signature ability is bye. Goodbye. Okay, next we have Raze. Now for me, especially because I play on the preset of Tactician, uh, before my abilities were completely locked into spe specific locations. Now I can bind my, apparently if I read it correctly, I can now bind my specific non ultimate abilities into specific locations. Okay. Now, okay. Now this is better. See, if I, if I look at it right now, this is a lot better where I can now, so my signature ability right now is my blast packs. And I want to change that to R2 now. Now for raise, what I can do is set up a profile. Raise profile currently binds specific abilities to specific buttons. So if I let prefer my blast packs to be on my R2, I can just bam. And this is a huge, this is a huge change, especially when you're raised players, especially if you don't have one of these pro Valorant, sorry, sorry, these PS, PS5 pro controllers. Where I just play on the normal default controller when I play, except I use uh, little scuffs for my uh, handling. But what I can do now gotcha. is I change it. Bam. That's it for the video, everybody. Don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe down below.
And in the meantime, I'll see you next time. And I'll probably see you in some Valorant games, depending on if you're high enough in the Immortal level. Okay. So I'll see you next time, everybody.